Sandy Hudson, thank you very much for joining us. We heard Terrence Floyd there call for peace and justice tonight. What impact do you think his voice will have? I mean, I, I think that uh, the, the focus um, of that clip is interesting. Um, I think the, the, the type of peace that we all want primarily is the, the peace um, for all black communities who are forced to engage um, uh, with police day in and day out um, and put, and when we are engaging with police, um, we are put in danger. That is what needs to stop. That's the primary focus I think that uh, we should all be focusing on with respect to these uprisings. That's what we're calling for. So tonight, Sandy, you, you know, there are curfews, there are crackdowns, everything across the United States in particular is incredibly tense. How, how critical do you suspect the next 24 hours is? I mean, in the United States, I'm, I'm very nervous about what's going to happen. The, um, the, uh, I just learned that uh, the president has talked about invoking the Insurrection Act um, to deploy the military um, on uh, protesters throughout the country. Uh, you know, we're getting notices. I'm in Los Angeles right now, and we're getting notices of curfew with just uh, 40 minutes notice. Uh, which seems like a tactic to be able to arrest people who are are protesting and so um, that makes me very very nervous and you know these protests have been occurring everywhere from white horse all the way down to uh, miami across north north america and that's because people want to see a change to uh, the indignity suffered by black people the brutality suffered by black people at the hands of police and uh, a country that is afraid um, uh, to, to, uh, of people who are calling for a just change. Uh, it's, I think, a recipe for disaster. So yes, I'm very, very nervous. So just listening to what you're saying there, Sandy, tonight, you know, these are mainly, but not exclusively, American protests, but clearly this is not an American problem. So what would you urge Canadians who are at home watching to consider? Yeah, there are tens of thousands of people protesting in Canada as well because the, the issues of anti-black racism um, uh, experienced by black communities at the hands of the police in Canada are a serious problem as well. And what demonstrators are calling for is defunding the police. And what I mean by that is let's take a serious look at how we provide safety for our communities in this country. Um, one of the ways that we can think about defunding the police is uh, the way that uh, police right now are often the only service available if somebody is going through a mental health crisis. Um, through In Toronto, we've seen through uh, the Yakobuchi report that uh, police are not well equipped to deal uh, with uh, mental health crises, and that's certainly affected um, uh, DeAndre Campbell, who was killed by police on his front lawn in Brampton just recently. So why don't we take that money that we have invested in the police and reinvest it into a new service that would provide a frontline service option to people who are experiencing mental distress so that they could be met uh, with people who are well trained to deal with the health and social implications of what they're going to, through and provide the type of necessary service that they need. Just as one simple example. All right, Sandy Hudson, this is a conversation that has to continue. Thank you for this. Thank you so much for having me.